James Shoulder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbao. With me, I've got the new Commonwealth champion, Gamal Yafai from the Fighting Yafai clan. Congratulations on the win against Bobby Jenkinson. Six round stoppage. Great body shot to end the fight. Let's start off a sort of round one. How, how did you find it in there? Um, I thought it was pretty easy. Uh, we, we knew what he was going to do. He was just going to come forward and try and wear us down. And I, I'm too clever for that. Uh, people haven't seen the, uh, the other side of, to me. I've had a lot of injuries in the past and been not, well, I've had nightmares of injuries and uh, they've uh, not been able to show my true you know, potential and uh, I think I showed, showed that tonight and I showed that I'm, I, well I hope I did to show that um, I'm actually quite good. <laughs> Suffered a nasty cut early on in the yeah. fight from a clash of heads. Yeah. What, what did your corner say to you when that happened when you went back? You know, uh, you know what it is, to be fair, when, it, when he did do it, like I, I was calm and that, like um, he didn't have me, you know, going mad and that, I just stay calm and it eat me again, it, same with the head again. All, the, the, all this here yeah, is from headbutts, you know what I mean? And uh, But it is what it is, it's a boxing, it's, a, it's like a fight, These you know things I mean? happen, don't These they? These things happen, um, and yeah, we, I, I'll, I'll come through as a winner. So. Do you think it's better that you've dealt with having a cut in the fight now? Yeah. You've yeah, had that sort yeah. of pressure on you, when yeah. you know what you've had to do to stay away from that sort of shot, to keep it clear, then, yeah. then dealing with it for a while. Yeah, 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 for a while. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, as soon as he did cut me, I was just like, it didn't bother me. It won't go any miles or anything. It was just, it, it did a bit, but it wasn't nothing, you know, serious. And my, when I went to the corner, my coach said to me, "Ah, oh, listen, it's not, it's not bad." Mick Williamson said, "It's not bad. Yeah. You'd be, you'd be alright." And I felt fine. I felt, felt, I felt very strong in there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you had the don of cuts in with you anyway, Mick Williamson. Yeah, Mick so Williamson, it's never yeah. a worry. When That's what I mean. There, when you it? got him in your corner, you just like bloody, shoot, you're alright. You can get through it. Cuts nothing. How much credit do you give to Bobby Jenkinson for staying in there when yeah. he was taking severe punishment? And at times he showed he's got a chin like Desperate yeah. Dan, to be fair. Yeah. He took some shots. I, I was hitting him early on and he, he was wincing. I was hitting him and he was wincing. And I thought, bloody hell, he's going he's gonna to go here. But when, you know what I mean? And he took some good he took some good shots and uh, fair play to him, man. Fair play to him. And that's why he's a come off champion. He's beat, he's beat a good kid, you know what I mean? And I know he, start, he started his poor career a bit, you know, but his last six fights have exactly You've got to respect win. him for the way he's turned yeah, it around, Yeah, exactly. He? I'm, I'm fair play to him and hopefully he can work his way up. I'd like to see him become champion one day. Tell me about the shot that ended the fight. How much do you remember about the body shot? He looked in so much pain oh, when yeah. that landed. You know what? The body shot, he, he, he was bending down and I remember just getting him round the back, like proper round the back and then just thought, bloody hell for it when he went down I knew he weren't getting up you know what I mean I just I just knew it but the, sh the right hands the one twos straight down the middle I don't know he's, he's taking them some of them were just like I was thinking he's gonna go here but he, fair play to me took him and you feel like you've announced yourself in the super bantamweight division now so many great sort of super bantamweights yeah. sometimes we neglect to mention the Rising talent that yeah. is Gamal Yafai. Do you think yeah. you put yourself on the map a little bit now? I, I'd like to think so, you know what I mean? I'm not one to blow my trumpet and I'm this and that. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, all I do is train hard. That's it. I'm, hopefully people can respect me and think, you know what, this year, Gamal Yafai is a, is a good fighter. I'd like, like to say I was, I'm a decent fighter, but I know, like, really potentially I can go on and do big things. And uh, same with Cal, you know, he showed it tonight, he's just next level. What's next for Gamal Yafai? Do you envision defending this Commonwealth title? Um, you know what? Whatever Eddie can come up with, if he can come up with, uh, he, he said he, he said something about defending it. I'll probably defend it once or twice, and then we can move on to British and so on, European and world. But this is for me. This is just another. This is a box ticks the Commonwealth. Yes. Hopefully, the British, the European, and the world. And. That's, that, that's my main goal, being a world champion. Coogan come up with an interesting fact as well. Your brother Cal won the Commonwealth after 12 fights, you've captured it after 9 fights. I can't take credit for that, it's Coogan's yeah. stat. It's an interesting stat and nice to have sort of one up on your older brother. I know, <laughs> I know for once. Um, nah, but I, I knew going into this fight, it's early on, you know, in my career. When I got offered the fight, I thought, straight away. It's early, but I won it straight away. I was, yeah, I want the fight. So it, I know he ain't no disrespect to Bobby, he ain't, you know, your top, top fighter, but he's still a pressure fighter, a 12, he's a proper 12 round fighter, and he can cause you problems in there, you know, as you've seen before. And, um, but, you know, I knew what, I knew that the, the training camp went superb, I had the best sparring. I want to thank um, Gavin McDonnell uh, and Carl Frampton for that, because we had class sparring with them, um, and we had a 
excellent training camp. And when I got in there, I'm not, not like not being disrespectful to him. I just thought this Do is, that, this is you know easy. It's, it was easy for me. Listen, congratulations on the win. Got distracted saying goodbye to Murph then while I'm listening to you. Congratulations on the win. Yeah. Last how many stitches did you have in your cup? I can't, I don't know. You didn't say how many, I don't, I don't know. I was frightened of having this. I've never had stitches in my life. I was no one likes frightened. needles. I hate them. No matter how many, if you get punched in the I face know. you're living, you don't like needles. Uh, it's, it's the the man said to me, he goes, he said, bloody hell, you, get, you can get punches and <laughs> you can take punches, but you can't have a bloody needle. No, but I, oh, I no. hate them, but uh, it had to be done and he's done a great job. And, move on now and go on to bigger and better things. Listen, congratulations on the win. Thank you for talking to IFL TV. No problem. I do appreciate any it. Any time, any time. Waiting about, messing about to, up to get to you. So I appreciate Not a problem, any time. You know that, James. I'll catch you again real soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers, James.